Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, could questionable gesture be behind alleged Kate Middleton rift? Yesterday, all eyes were on the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex after they were spotted watching their husbands playing polo. Kate arrived with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis while Meghan was seen with the newborn baby Archie. It was the most public show of affection ever witnessed between the two sister-in-laws and the royal children, which prompted royal fans to argue that the rumoured feud might have come to an end. And speculation that the two were feuding started where in November 2018. It was announced the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were moving out of Kensington Palace. Shortly after the announcement, royal correspondent Camilla Tomney claimed she was told by two sources that Kate was left in tears by Meghan following a row over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress before the royal meeting in May. According to unearthed reports, so, there might have been bad blood between the two duchesses from the start because of Meghan. In January 2017, it was reported that Meghan met Kate for the first time and since the Duchess of Cambridge had recently celebrated her birthday, the former Hollywood actress decided not to greet her empty-handed. Vanity Fair writers Joss Duboff and Julie Miller in the In the Limelight podcast in 2017 thought the gift was rather questionable as it sounded like something Meghan would buy for herself. The Duchess of Sussex used to fill her Instagram feed with and described herself as a lover of handwritten notes. The royal correspondent Polly Hudson was even more dismissive of the gift, saying it seemed like a treat, but is actually work. Mrs. Hudson added, the only way the gift could be more dull is if she had to document other people's dreams because there's nothing on earth more boring to them. Royal commentator Martha Ross also commented on the journal, writing, Marco seems to assume that Middleton cares about wanting a better understanding of her emotions, stresses, victories and mental well-being. But what if Middleton isn't an inner search kind of girl? Maybe she's fine with life as it is. And why should any of us think otherwise? She's married to a man who clearly adores her. And he's going to be king of England one day. And that's all for today's episode. If you like, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.